Hi, I'm Steve-O and this is Jen. We're a couple from California. Today, we are following the green line in the French city of Nantes for their annual citywide art festival, Le Voyage à Nantes. We're gonna see some beautiful art, drink some beer, and get crushed by a mechanical beast? Let's find out. Here we are in the Jardin des Plantes, or as they say in French, the Jardin des Plantes in the city of Nantes or Nantes. Everybody wanted to get pictures with my homie Le Fleur, so I had to move over here. The green line takes you all throughout the city of Nantes, over 74 different installations for the Voyage à Nantes, which is a giant citywide art festival. Some are museums, some are art installations. Even this park we're in right now is full of art. Another really cool thing about this green line is it leads you all over the city to see lots of different monuments as well. And we're really excited to show you not because this is just such a beautiful city. And the city itself just feels like a work of art and there are installations all around the city that are also here year round. So some of these things that we'll show you would be here even if you're not here for this festival in the summer. This is the Chateau des Ducs de Brittany. I think that's how you say that, I don't speak French. This was built in the 15th century. It's also part of the Green Line. There are performances going on in this building behind me and you can walk around the ramparts for free. We're up here on the ramparts. This is such a cool part of the city to walk on because you get amazing views of the town and you get amazing views of the chateau as well. You're able to come inside the chateau and walk around for free, but there's also a museum that you can pay for. So we're back on the Green Line and now we're heading toward one of the other exhibits in town. These are the cobblestone streets of Nantes and there's lots of these little back alleys. As you can see, there's loads of restaurants and they're pretty crowded with people at lunch and at dinner time. It's not only French food, but you can find Asian, Italian, lots of Irish pubs. So one of the foods that Nantes is famous for is crepes and right behind me are two really famous creperies. Um, yesterday we ate at Hab Ken with our friends and the crepes there were so good. But today we're not gonna eat crepes again because that's just too many crepes. So we're on the hunt for some lunch right now. We're right by this really big plaza with this beautiful fountain in the center. So Steve-O found this cool little sandwich shop online that's down this alley really close to the center of town. It's huge. <laughs> What'd you get? I got the grand, the big American <laughs> with fries and chicken. What did you get? Uh, I think I got some kind of sausage. It looks, yeah, it looks like a, a kebab. Yeah, some kind of sausage kebab. Ooh. This was a really cool find. There's a bunch of art in this alley and this owner is so nice. European IPAs are good. They're, like, they're not punishing you for drinking it. It's yeah. not too bitter. Oh, that's cool. Mine's like pretty sweet, but not in a bad way. Yeah. It's really nice. 
was a really fun lunch. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little toasty from that beer. They make them beers hard. Yeah, the beers in Nantes are very nice. Now we are going to keep walking around and see some more of this art. This city is really pretty. I dig it. Where? Hey, Steve-O. Well, hell, have you been following me this whole time? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I'm standing inside this exhibit. It is so cool. These are kind of like three-dimensional but flat shadow puppets. Uh, they're made of wood and they are kind of combining bestiality. Bestiality? I feel like that's a sexual thing. <laughs> they're kind of like mythical creatures or beasts that are mixed with medieval kind of, I don't know, motifs. So they're very weird. They're very much open for interpretation. Uh, whatever you think they are is what they are. This is a really cool exhibit and it's right here in front of the St. Nicholas Church. And if you've got time, definitely pop into St. Nicholas's Basilica. It is a neo-Gothic 18th century church. Just pop on in and say, hi, Jesus. Following the green line will lead you to some interesting places in the city and we just came upon this passage that looks so beautiful so we're going to pop in here. So we're meeting our friends at the Jules Verne Museum in a little while and we're heading that way. There might be some more art we can see on the way that we want to show you. You're a work of art. Thank you. And I'm a piece of work. <laughs> so the weather forecast has called for rain all day. And we've been so lucky with the weather, but it's finally started drizzling. Uh, we're not going to let that stop us because we're taking you over to what is meant to be the coolest exhibit. Right now we're crossing over a bridge and we're going to walk about 10 more minutes to get there. At least I don't look like I pissed my pants. Because I did. There's an alcove under the dispenser. Where? We're going to go over there. Ooh, good idea. Let's go. Okay, let's run over here. Oh my god. <laughs> chance of light rain in the next hour. Hmm, I would agree. Just a chance. We're super close to where we want to take you, but we're going to wait <laughs> a little while. So, once the, this dies down, we'll be just a couple of seconds away. This little pigeon is loving it. We said, let's it and just went for it, and we got here just in time to show you. This mechanical elephant was inspired by the works of the author Jules Verne, a Nantes native. This elephant is a permanent art exhibit and runs every day, rain or shine. Wow, that timing was amazing. We got here just as they let the elephant loose to rampage through the masses, <laughs> and it was really cool. That was amazing to see. I'm so glad we got here to show you that. The dude driving is having a great time and spraying folks, even though we're already all wet. We hope you had fun coming around this art exhibition today with us here at Nantes. So it's usually in the summer, July, August, September. You can check the exact dates on the Voyage on Nantes website. And thank you so much for watching. Everyone on this elephant says you should like and subscribe, so listen to the elephant people. Check out our other videos. We were touring around Oxford before this, so uh, please check out those videos where we see another mechanical elephant. Do we? I don't know. You're going to have to go find out. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.